Hi, my name is Bob Downing. I work for the DOT as a soils and aggregate engineering specialist. And today I'm going to be showing you T146, Ashto T146, and that is the wet preparation for fine grain soils for mechanical and physical analysis. Now I'm going to be showing you the portion of T146 as to prep for the Atterberg limits. Some of the equipment that we're going to need is, of course, pans to hold and to mix, mix the uh, uh, separate sections of the, uh, the soil that I'm going to be grinding. We also need a 40 sieve. I'm going to be using the 40 sieve. And, of course, the pan underneath there. We also need a pan that's big enough to hold a 40 sieve, say an 8-inch 40 sieve. So we can uh, set, that, set that in there and that's going to be used for the wash. We also need a mortar and we also need a pestle. Now the mortar should be, um, what I like to use is just a, a porcelain and it's non-porous. And pestle should be, uh, have a rubber tip as to not break up any particles or change the grade of, uh, of the material that we're grinding. So. Also, we need the sample. Now this particular sample has already been um, gilsoned. It's already gone through uh, number four sieve, so we're going to be working with P4 material. We aren't going to go through any of the grading stuff today. So what I want to do is I want to take the sample and I want to make sure I get all of the P40 material off from this. And I'm going to do that by grinding it and washing it. Now, while we grind it, it's only going to be taking off the outer, the outer layer. And um, while we wash it and soak it and then wash it, it should be, we should be getting out as much P40 material as possible from this particular sample. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop a little bit of this into the mortar. And I'm going to be grinding, grinding all of the try to get as much of the 40 material off as I can to grind. And we'll pour that back. We'll do this a couple do this a couple of times. Getting a little more of that 40 material off from the sample each time we do this. Now we've got P40 material and then we also have the R40 material. What I want to do is I want to save this R40 material for a wash later. So scoop a little bit more of this in, get enough, and the spec says that we shouldn't wash more than a pound at a time. So that's what I'm, that's actually what I'm looking for, for this particular demonstration. So I'm going to shake that. And here we go. Now I have the luxury of having a lot of a lot of sample right here, but sometimes you don't because of it's coming off from an auger or a jar sample. So next, now we have the um, P4 material and we have the R4 material in this pan. And what I want to do is I want to go and soak this between two and 24 hours as to loosen up the clay that might still be clinging to the uh, particles. Let's go get our water. Here we are to the water and let's soak the sample. Now we want to cover the sample, make sure it's fully covered and we don't want that squirting out too hard. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cover the sample Make sure it's all covered. 
usually put a half an inch above the sample. Swish it around a little bit. And now, according to the procedure, we're going to set this down and we're going to let this soak between 2 and 24 hours. And once again, that's to, uh, to loosen up all of the P40 material that may still be attached to this particular sample after grinding. All right, it's been between 2 and 24 hours for this soak. And what we want to do is we want to take an empty clean pan that's able to accommodate a 40 sieve for the wash. We'll set this over here. What we want to do is we just want to take this, move this over here, and actually just pour this in into the sieve and on top of the sieve. Turn on some water. And wash that in. Set that aside. And we want to raise the water to about a half an inch above the sample. Set this down. Switch this around. We can also, if there's like clay lumps in here, we can also take our hand, make sure we aren't pushing any of the sample through the sieve, but we can squish the sample between our fingers. Make sure we wash that off and it looks like the sample is clean. And never put water directly on the sample. Just wash it off the side. And while I'm doing this, I've got the pan underneath making sure I get everything that passes through this, through the 40. Nothing that passes the 40 gets washed down the drain. So we'll have our P40 material. Set that aside. And we want it. We have our R40 material. And we're not going to throw this away. We are going to take this and put this in another pan and dry this out. Because anything that's been washed has actually changed the size of some of the particles. Not the bigger ones that, you know, will obviously be retained on there that are close to the number four sieve, but the stuff that barely was on top of the 40 sieve, their size may have changed a little bit. So we're going to get some more sand out of, out of this particular material. So we wash that. Now, We have the P40 material and we have the R40 material. And now it's off to a 60 degree oven for these to dry. Now the samples have been dried in a 60 degree oven. And here we have the P40 material that was washed. It's just kind of flaky there. And we have the R40 material that has been washed. And previously, from the initial grinding, we have this material that is P40. So we're going to empty this, the pan. I'm going to be using the 40 screen again. What I want to do is I want to Scrape all of the P40 material into the mortar. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be grinding that P40 material again. Want to make sure we get, get all of that.
and grind her up one more time. like that we'll all go through the 40 hopefully this time and that will anything that went through the 40 we'll mix that in with the original P40 so we will be taking the material that I washed over at the sink. This is the R40 material. Now, like I said before, some of these particles may go through the 40 since that P40 material has been washed. Now we're going to shake this. This has also been dried in the oven. And I guarantee you, we will get some sand coming through because of the because of the washing. Now, after sieving this, this R40 material we can discard. We're not interested in that anymore. We've washed that material, and then we've dried it, and we've resieved it, and then we come up with more sand because of the change of, of size in the particles. So now we have the original P40 material that I had shaken out previously, and on top here we have the wash, the material that was washed through the 40 sieve. And now we have the reshaking of the R40 material. So we have three portions of the sample. And now what we want to do is we want to mix them all together. Make sure we get a good mix for our Atterberg limits. And I happen to have a sample bowl right here. And now we have all the P40 material in one bowl. And there's our sample. It's ready to go for the Atterberg limits.